welcome back to the channel and I'll tell you this time of year always reminds me of a time I lived in Louisiana and we would do crawfish boil and shrimp boil and crab boil and now that we're out here in Florida I haven't done one of these in a couple of years I decided to pull out not to pull out my big 110 quart uh, crawfish cooker because we're only doing a couple of pounds here but today we're gonna be doing some delicious blue crabs we'll show you how we set these up doing them right out here on the grill now we're just doing a couple of pounds of these crabs so instead of doing it in this big cooker as I mentioned I'm doing it in a nice smaller pot what you want to do is bring about two to three gallons of water up to a boil and I've already got two in here I'm adding one more we're gonna cover this up because we want this to come up to a boil I started this probably 10 minutes ago um, doing it out here on a pit boss side uh, burner on the grill that's just fine you could set this right on your grill and do it or frankly you can do it in your house but the smell of seafood I like doing it outside it's just a little bit more rustic it feels a little bit more Cajun when I do it outside all right let's talk about the goods obviously we're gonna need some crabs and I always went ahead and did small to medium blue crabs you can get whatever kind you like I do like doing the blue crabs and I don't clean them first I like the style of sort of dumping it out on a table and you just kind of make your own boil but the important part of this is you want to season this water and you want to season it good. So let me kind of tell you how we're going to go ahead and do the seasoning side. We have a little bit of this Zatarain's crawfish and shrimp boil. This is kind of like a giant tea bag. It's got all the seasonings in it ready to go. I have some onion and some garlic powder. I have a little bit of this Sazon Tropical. It's a nice color to it. It's a um, salt, pepper, garlic and a little bit of uh, 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 paprika. It gives it some color. And then Boy, this brings back to Louisiana memories. This slap your mama hot sauce is some good stuff and it's a great additional flavor. It's not gonna be terribly hot. This is the original one, not the uh, hot version, but that's gonna be some good flavor. In the water, we're also gonna add an onion. We're just gonna quarter this up. We're gonna do two lemons squeezed in there and we're gonna do two small bulbs of garlic. Uh, honestly, they're really small, so I've got a little bit of ground garlic. I'm gonna put a couple of teaspoons in there as well. That is what's gonna season up this water. Now. Crabs will cook for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ears of corn in before I start. Now traditionally, you'll see people do this all the time. They put the crab in, they turn the pot off, they throw the frozen corn in, they let that cool everything down. That works great. But I love the taste of fresh corn. So we're gonna start with that because it'll take a little longer. And we're gonna do some Brussels sprouts in ours. That's it, those are the ingredients. And by the way, the vegetables you do, do whatever it is you want. Most people do potatoes and corn. I will tell you, we've got a whole bag of these. These look dead. They're actually sitting on ice and I put them in the fridge overnight. So they're a little, I'll let these warm up a little bit. They are not dead. It's important that you do not cook dead crab. You want these things to be live. They're, they're stunned. I watched them move just a little bit here. So they are still good to go. All right, well, this is getting up to a boil. Let's go ahead and start with our Zatarain seasoning bag. See what I said? It's, it kind of looks a little bit like a tea bag. We're going to drop that guy right on in there. All right, we're going to go ahead and quarter up our onion. You notice I'm not going crazy peeling this. I'm going to take the outer dry part off of it, but I'm not even taking the root off it. It'll help hold it in. And really, we're just looking for the flavor that this is going to bring to us. Just getting these dry ones off the very end. those guys in onion by the way you can use white yellow you can use the 1015 Vidal the Vidalia onions it's up to you I like the tart flavor of these white onions when I'm doing a crab shrimp or crawfish boil same with these little garlic uh, again I mentioned these are small so I'm just gonna cut it right near the bottom where the root is This one's been sitting in the cupboard a little bit. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm just gonna throw it. Here's where sometimes you just have to improvise. That uh, garlic did not look all that fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with about the equivalent of two full bulbs. So that's a good two tablespoons of this. Now let's go ahead and start adding our seasonings here. Now when we're doing something small like this, we're gonna put in, oh, maybe a fourth of one of these, uh, these containers. It is funny, I'm used to cooking this stuff in a 120 quart pot and I will put in one of those full gallon jugs of that Zatarain seasoning. Um, you know, put a whole thing of Old Bay, two of these, right? Like you add a lot of items into it. All right, I'm gonna add some of this uh, Sazon Tropical. It's gonna give us some good red color. And we're gonna start with some of this Slap Yo Mama, which if you've never had this stuff, it is phenomenal on vegetables. And we'll do about a quarter of this container. That'll give us some good flavor. Forgot we want to do two lemons. Just squeeze these guys right in here and throw the lemon halves right into the water. Mm 
All right, time to stir this up. I'll show you what it looks like. Right, it's looking pretty good. Let's just bring this up to a good boil. Cover it up, speed up the process. All right, the water is up to a boil over there, so I'm going to cut open my Brussels sprouts. Now normally, I know you cook these in the house, you trim them and everything else. We're not doing any of that. We're gonna dump this whole thing right in there. I like to peel these ears of corn and then um, cut them into thirds. So, I've got a trash can right here, so bear with me while I get this up. Be shucked. Now, because this is a grilling channel, you normally see me soak the husks and everything in water, and then we, um, we grill them, and that steam inside the husk is what ends up cooking them. For these, just uh, the opposite. We are gonna, my knife is dull. I'm doing each of these in three pieces. I feel like I could have cut that with a spoon easier. <laughs> All right. That is at a nice rolling boil. I'm gonna drop these corn right down in there. And our Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna mix this up. We're gonna cover it back up. I'm gonna let it come back up to a boil before we drop our crabs in. That's looking good. Just gonna give that a cover. All right. And now it's just a matter of getting these guys in here. We're probably gonna do about a dozen at a time or so. Now remember, I've got these guys sitting on ice, so they are stunned. <laughs> that one was hanging on to a few others. All right, got one more scooching in the corner of the paper bag. Get this covered up and we're gonna get it brought to a boil and boil it for about 10 minutes. Look at there. This is about 10 or 11 minutes later. Just want to cut this off. And I'm gonna let them sit because I like when a lot of that fluid, that liquid, rolls back into the crabs. I think that gives it an amazing flavor. You can see our Brussels sprouts are nice and done. Corn looks absolutely delicious. Let's just go ahead and cover this guy up. We'll let it sit for about five or 10 minutes. Let these guys start to sink a little bit more. You can see they're starting to float. We just need them to absorb that liquid, sink on down a little bit. All right, these guys have been soaking now for about 15 minutes or so. And ooh, what we have, some delicious looking crabs. Let's get all these guys out. All right, let's give this a shot. Got this nice stack. Got some fresh corn, even Brussels sprouts. This guy's looking good. Not sure how to tell, by the way. You look for row in these. This is a male, long pointed on. This is the female, the short pointed outside. Now, this one probably will have some row in it. Guys, all hot. I'm gonna let these cool off for a little while and then we're gonna come in and dig on in. All right, everybody, these guys have been cooling down and it is time to give it a try. Now, you always start for me with the veggies and these are probably a little cooler than room temperature. Hmm. The Brussels sprouts are soft and tender. They just have a little bit of that, uh, that spice and kick to them. Same thing with the corn. Tender, cooked just right, just about that, that right amount of time we did. And honestly, it hits you. After you swallow it, you start to feel a little bit of that slap your mama, a little bit of that spice and seasoning. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna take this, uh, this is a female. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the top right off of here. Separate this one out. Pull the gills and whatnot right out of here. Goes right down to the uh, 
the leg here. Clean that out a bit. And just a matter of grabbing some of that meat right out of there. Hmm. I mean blue crab, right? It's a classic. It's definitely not something you eat when you're hungry because frankly it takes a while to get going on these and these are small enough that there's not a ton of, uh, of crab in these. So next time I did this I would certainly buy larger. But good, good stuff. The thing I like to do is take a knife, take the back of it, just give that a crack. And you can just separate that real easily and pull that crab meat right out of the claw. Man, sweet crab meat with a little bit of hit of that spice at the end. It is really, really good. There you go, a classic crab boil. Blue crabs boiled up right out here on the grill. You can do it on the actual grill top. You can do it on a side burner. You could do it in one of those big old burners, like I said, 100, 120 quart pots. We have one of those for crawfish. By the way, we can do 50 pounds of crawfish at a time and you mix it with it like it looks like a paddle for a canoe. It's huge. Um, but we're doing a small amount, perfect for the family. But I love doing that big old crawfish boil with a whole bunch of people. Come over, drink some cold beer, pop some tails, suck some heads on those crawfish. And it is good stuff, man, good stuff. But crab just feels like a step above. I don't know why, it feels like a step up. Maybe because it's out of the, not out of the swamp. <laughs> hey y'all, safe and happy grilling. We'll see you next weekend.